A young girl is fighting for a life at the Medical University of South Carolina after contracting a rare brain-eating amoeba. Officials say the patient was exposed to the amoeba while swimming near Martin's Landing on the Edisto River in Charleston County in July. News 2's Travis Rice has the latest on the patient's condition and what's being done to save her life. Travis? Hey, good evening, Carolyn. We're told that that patient, that young girl, I should say, is being treated here at MUSC right now. And we're also told that a short while ago, the company that makes one of the few medications to help cure this disease actually drove up the medication from Orlando to Charleston. Now, here are some photos of that 11-year-old girl that has the rare brain infection that's in MUSC right now. We're told she's from the, from the Savannah area, more specifically Buford, according to our sister station down there in in Savannah. Now, as for this disease's uh, connection to the Low Country, three children in the last six years have contracted this very rare amoeba, which then turns into a brain infection. One of those children, or one of those people, I should say, Dunn Hollingsworth daughter Liza, who was 10 years old, she died from the disease in 2010. I never mind talking about her because it, it reminds me that she lived to. For me to not talk about her is to pretend she didn't. Dunn Hollingsworth calls it a very unfortunate fraternity of parents to be a part of. Now coming up at News 2 on 11, we'll hear from him, his daughter's story, her symptoms and what led up to it, and also what you can do to at least help prevent it from happening to your child. Live at MUSC, Travis Rice, News 2.